Hey security freaks, Jack Wallen here to help you get things done. If you're looking to prevent idle SSH connections from remaining connected, I've got you covered. Open the configuration file on the server for editing with the command sudo nano slash etsy slash ssh slash sshd underscore config. Scroll to the bottom of that file and add the following three lines. TCP keep alive, yes. Client alive interval, 30. Client alive count max, 2. The default client alive interval is in seconds and is counted the number of times configured in client alive count max. So 30 twice is 1 minute. Once you've made your configurations, restart the SSH daemon with the command sudo system control restart sshd. Now we're going to set the timeout on the client end. The configuration is handled in the bashrc file. But instead of going through every user's bashrc file, you can do this in the global file with the command sudo nano slash etsy slash bash dot bashrc. In that file, scroll down to the bottom and add the following lines. tmout equals 300. Read only tmout. Export tmout. The tmout option sets the amount of time in seconds that an idle connection will be allowed. Now that you've configured the timeout interval, connect to any of your remote Linux servers via SSH. Don't do anything at the terminal. You should be kicked out of the session as soon as the allotted inactive time passes. If you want to learn more in the ways of everything tech, be sure to subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel and watch more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.